All right, this is my uh, robot project. Uh, I've got a Z F9, F9P um, GPS unit. And this is the unit before I've got an RTK fix. Um, there's a cube orange, uh, telemetry radios. This is Ardu Rover, and it's showing I've got a GPS 3D fix. I'm getting six satellites, even though it's indoors with it big antenna on there. All right, let's look at the ESP RTK. All right, uh, ESP RTK is booting up. It's connecting to the internet right now. Use the ethernet cable for connection. And there it is sending the RTK corrections. It's getting the GGA messages from the ZF9P GPS unit. Um, the radio it's using is a, an MRO uh, telemetry 915 megahertz radio and I've got an antenna outside the building. So far it's transmitting all over my yard, which is a range of maybe 300 feet. And this is back to the ZF9P. The green slow, slow blink on RTK means it's getting its um, RTK corrections. And in my uh, Mission Planner base station, um, well, it was showing RTK float for a second. There, there it's showing RTK float. That means it's another test and do a simple rectangle this one's had some tuning with turn radius and turn rates and the encoders are set up properly so here goes Okay, belly, back up a little bit. Not bad, the wheels slip when it hits a bump and then it uh, spins on the rear and loses a sink and the O-drive actually drops out a channel. So I need to fix that, put some suspension on front make it turn a little easier with the casters and get more grip on the rear tires. I've got some 3D printed tires I have to put on. Real heavy